Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is yet another review session. In today's episode, we are going to list top 10 free public APIs that both developers, backend developers, or QA, or anybody who wants to test APIs for free. These are all the public free APIs which requires almost no uh, registration and you can start using it by plug and play. Let's go ahead and review the top 10 APIs. Before we do that, a quick word on what are APIs. APIs are a set of defined protocols, methods or tools that are building that are used for building software and applications. APIs allows us to communicate between different systems and share data and functionality. Typically, most of the APIs that you see right now um, available would be either on HTTP protocol or in some uh, advanced enterprise cases would be on SOAP, etc. But these can be integrated easily and there are a lot of APIs that are freely available which we can start testing with our in our applications or just for learning purpose. Let's go ahead and review the top 10 list. The first one is that I recommend is JSON placeholder. This is 100% free, without any registration, easy to access, simply plug and play. It's it's it provides Frake API, right? So it has this. Uh, you can go to this URL called JSON Placeholder and you have for post, users, task, to dos, etc. This is good, if, especially if you're learning, if you want to, if you're learning something on your own, or if you want to quickly try out some tools like Postman, etc. It's free, so give it a try. The first, this is the first thing you should use if you're trying to learn or integrate or have a dummy API, especially for front-end developers. The next one is again something similar, but it provides real-time data with real status code and responses. Again, it does not require any authentication. You can just copy the URL that's provided and you can plug and play. You can find the URL at rec res.in so this is request and response.in pretty cool uh, url and provides a lot of urls and data that you can start implementing in your code especially again for the front end developers or the qa for that all right if you are into fun and you want something a simple free api which provides random jokes just to see or test or learn again you can use api.chucknorris.io it requires no registration, no sign up. You can simply copy paste the API and start checking out the response and start learning. If you are someone who is trying to work with a different um, protocol other than HTTP, this is an API that you should check it out. Uh, it, this provides an XML response. So if you're trying to build an enterprise application, which requires you to have a XML kind of a response which will give you an XML response and you want to play how to learn how to integrate you can use this uh, API directly and you can just plug and play and use it the API provides information on different colors palettes patterns and other stuff you can find the API at colorlovers.com slash API Alright, so the next one is again something funny or I would say silly, which is but again really good, especially if you are doing kind of a training or learning or testing for that matter. That's called Fruity Wise API. It provides REST APIs and all the HTTP methods that you can implement to get details about the fruits. It how much protein it has, how much vitamins, etc. etc. for each of the fruit. Pretty interesting and uh, API, so give it a try. All right, the next one is something that even developers, QA, designers, front-end, back-end developer can use, Mocky. Now this provides us to quickly design our own responses, right? And that's interesting because you want your API or a response in a certain format with certain keys and values. So go ahead and use designer.mocky.io to design your own APIs. Very handy, especially if you don't know, if you know what the backend is going to come, what the response is going to be like, you can mock it just by using this tool. Very, very simple tool, very, very useful. It will save a lot of time and effort. Do give it a try. All right, if you are into something building, let's say financial dashboards, prototypes, templates for a real-time client, etc., you might want to work with some real-time uh, intraday data, historical data, etc. 
pretty awesome uh, API which is called exchange rates API which gives you all the perfect data that you want to integrate in your financial applications again the basic version that's the free one will up provide only 250 API calls per day so that's it there is a limit so make sure that you follow that and after that there is some charge that you have to pay money if you have a luxury of where you can make up to 250 API calls you can try this out this API the next one dummy API now dummy API allows us to learn test play with API responses with images and text a lot of times you'll see all the APIs that I've covered will provide you textual kind of a response but let's say you want to have much more um, say enhanced kind of a response with images text etc you can play with dummy api.io the only restriction is these are mostly for reading and learning and testing so that's why they are only read only apis um, again in good for integration and testing purpose or learning but will not allow you methods like delete or put etc so that's the only restriction with this particular api now if you are bored you want to do something cool you want to find out if you're lazy if you're learning if you're testing please do check out board api now i like this um, um, api because it it will suggest you something silly and funny what to do right if you're just bored learning just give it a try boardapi.com no authentication required just plug and play in your app the next one is a bible api now this is a tiny web app uh, which provides a json api for grabbing bible verses and passages so if you are more religiously authentic inclined you can try this out as well which again requires no registration or sign up you can just call the apis and it will provide you the json responses you can get the api at bible-api.com all right so those are the free apis that almost requires no registration effort and you can directly start plug and play and start learning start testing start integrating in your applications i suggest you use them instead of a dummy json file in your application especially from learning perspective do let me know which is your favorite among this list in the comment section if you know of any better api that is available that we should check it out please do let us know in comment section or you can write to me at surya.arad at gmail.com please continue supporting me thank you so much please do like share and comment on the video thank you again see you in yet another episode